piping. Air intake. You, you're going to be able to edit and delete all some of that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> there might be some cussing going on. <laughs> They say it will, huh? That's what they say? Absolutely. Move the intake piping all in one piece. Like this. Drain this coolant. Stock radiator. Look at the steam coming off that coolant. Taking off this lower radiator hose. You all drained already? I got AC, so I gotta take out this. Oh! R.I.P. Upper rad hose. Alright, last two bolts I gotta get off. 12 mil, right there, you can't see nothing. 12 mil. Oh, snap. I need a tight seal, and my wall shaver helps make that happen. In this far out. I'm gonna remove all these spark plugs now. So now I'm gonna undo the valve cover with a bunch of these 10 millimeter bolts. Just keep it like that. Disconnect this coil pack. It's just a 12 mil. Taking the sensor off. Pulls off this cover right here. Just take this cover off now. Tension off this power steering. This is going to take two 14s, one through this pulley right here. And the other one's right here. The alternator tensioner takes a 12 millimeter and a 13 millimeter, and it's kind of hard to get to, but you can get a ratchet in there and get it out. Loosen this 14 mil on the alternator itself down here by the belt. Please so remove this alternator belt. When he got up into the gray, so be careful if Kevin decided to run the high line. Just to let him know that it stepped out on Stenhouse and Kevin said, I don't plan on going up there. There you go. Just simple two 12 millimeters. One there and one here. So I got this 10 mil deep to take off these harmonic bolts. Alright, so the 10 mil is for the harmonic. Oh. Alright, so now I can get this off. I know the part is in the oh. These are 10 millimeters for the cover on the water pump. That's why I got new ones of those. Full notch. Yeah. That's gonna line up with that pin. Alright, so I'm gonna go. All the way up? Yeah, it's all the way up. Alright. So now I can lock the cam loops. One of them's gonna have to be. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, I'll take the spring off now. Alright, so here's the spring. There's all the tension. Now here comes the bell. Yes, okay. Pull up. Okay.
Wow. I might have been the luckiest guy. So yeah, I got this out. Didn't even have to pull it or anything. So I got a seal for in there too. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna take off these cam gears so we can get to the cam seals. I was just worried right, about that moving. Get all these ones off, I guess. Hey. Let that drawn out. Taking off the water pump. Go for something different. So there's there's the water pump. Snap that. Uh these two bolts. Yeah. Most difficult thing to do. I wonder if it can get that. And the fins too. Toast. Toast. There's the new one. Still recording. Damn, this was hard as hell. There we go. Look at that. It was hard. The new crankshaft seals. Like the syrup out of the Coca Cola. You know what's up? This right. one is on the uh, So now the engine is completely disassembled. I just replaced the camshaft seal and the crank seal, and now I'm going to clean this all up and then we are going to reassemble. Pretty much clean this all up with a toothbrush. Where the water pump goes, there's this right here, and you have to pull it from away from this hard line in the back. Ring right here. I got the replacement right here. It's much easier to take apart, take this power steering pump completely off, and then you can get to the hard line in the back. There you can see the brand new O ring on there, on that hard line right there. So I put the gasket on the back with uh, these two bolts holding it on on the brand new water pump. Here I'm going to put the second gasket in for the water pump and this one just goes in all the way over here. So then when you put the belt on, you unleash that tension. Watch out, piggy! As you can see, this I and this E. I think you have to move that E up a tooth. But this I definitely has to move up a tooth. But on camera, this E looks fine. All right, so we got this um, tensioner loosened up. About to give it a couple cranks. I got it. Those are the first two covers in. Now I'm about to put this cover in. Here's me putting the fans in with these ghetto zip tie things. Snip off the extra. Okay, so basically I didn't film much of the reassembly, but she is all buttoned up. The aluminum radiator, everything is in. Timing belt, I just need to put the spark plugs in. All the intake piping and close it up. I just rigged up these new fans to their new electrical connectors. The whole car is ready to go.
starting the Miata after timing out in the water pump.